banned accounts using the plugins and will take legal action against developers user hold on oh oh my god wait oh they're gonna they're gonna take him to court no way they're oh, oh my god they were kidding they are absolutely livid they are banning players and also going to potentially take the developers of the plugins and the players themselves to court oh my that is mind-boggling oh my god God, that, oh, that is, that is incredibly satisfying to read. When Hoyo get angry, they get really angry. Whether you play Genshin Impact or not, I guarantee you've heard of the recent Kave hack. This hack has done insurmountable damage to numerous players, ruining days worth of play. The TLDR is that hackers would join players' world via co-op and then they would essentially remove items or objects from their game. This threw the entire community into disarray and there were people out there, creators, streamers, YouTubers that were on the one hand trying to bring attention to the situation in an attempt to get Hoyo to respond. And then also on the other hand, trying to cause more drama, trying to incite more outrage by sharing exactly how to do it. And regardless of which side of the fence you were on, Oyo responded. When the official Genshin Impact Reddit account makes a post on the Genshin Impact subreddit, you know shit is serious. Resolution regarding the recent plugin usage in Genshin Impact. Dear travelers, it has come to our attention that some travelers have been using plugins to tamper with game data and intentionally disrupt the gaming experience of other travelers. In co-op mode, they were found using plugins to remove items from other travelers' open world, preventing them from playing under normal circumstances. The relevant issues have been fixed on August 25th. By August 26th, our developers had fixed the accounts of the travelers who encountered this error and contacted customer service for assistance. We also notified travelers regarding the status of the fix through customer service we will continue to monitor this issue after it has been resolved. Currently, co-op mode is working as intended and travelers can continue to proceed as normal. Currently, some items in a small number of accounts may not be restored yet. This will not affect travelers' normal game experience. This issue will be fully fixed in a future update and we will notify affected players via in-game mail. If you have recently encountered a similar problem, you can report it to us via our customer service with the detailed location of the item in question. Upon verification that said problem is caused by a similar plugin, our customer service will contact you as soon as possible. Additionally, if you experience any other issues or notice any violations that involve the usage of third-party plugins or tools, you may also contact our official customer service. When reporting a violation, please attach the UID of the player violating the rules, the reason for the report or other relevant information, which will allow our developers to better locate the issue and correct it. Using such plugins to remove items from other travelers' open world via the tampering of game data has seriously affected the gameplay experience. Yeah, you, you can search around online, on social media, on Discord, on Reddit. There are numerous threads detailing what they were doing, who did it, what was removed. People are outraged. They are absolutely livid that this happened. But, I mean, given the size that Genshin is, it was only a matter of time before something of this magnitude happened. Not that Genshin hasn't suffered from exploits or hacks in the past. I think this is just the first time it's affected the co-op experience and allowed for people to directly affect your game world. To maintain fair play and protect the rights of travelers, we have banned accounts using these plugins and will take legal action against developers, users, and disseminators. Okay, so real, real quick here. They do note that if you encounter a problem, you can report it using the customer service. <laughs> and upon verification that the problem is caused by a plugin, then they'll contact you back. But if you engage in the, the removal of items via the plugin yourself, and you accidentally delete something in your own world, or were at one point engaging in deletion using those plugins yourself, then they will be able to tell and you will be banned. So that's actually very interesting. I wonder how many people are gonna get banned by accident, not knowing that they are reporting their own accounts in the process. 
That's actually kind of amusing. Currently, we have confirmed that developers and users of this plugin are, are posting content in the community or on video sites disguising themselves as victims to confuse the public and incite panic. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, 100%. We will deal with such actions in accordance with the terms of service, privacy policy, and applicable laws and regulations. Thank you for your continued support and accompaniment of Genshin Impact. We've always strived to maintain a healthy and fair gaming environment, and any attempt that jeopardizes the fairness of the game through improper means is strictly prohibited. At the same time, the development team would like to hereby declare that any game vulnerabilities have no relation to the design of the game, its plot, or characters. Please refrain from making unwarranted associations to negatively affect the experience of other travelers. We hope that all travelers can boycott plugins, third party tools, and other unethical behavior to maintain a fair and friendly game environment together. That's just not going to happen. Genshin Impact is one of the largest communities in gaming. The larger the community, the larger the number of toxic players. This is a breeding ground for toxic players. Plugins that allow for you to directly ruin the experience of other players. Now let's go ahead and see what the comments have to say. There are probably, yeah, are 700 comments now before we go ahead and take a look at some of the comments that were left i want to take a moment here to thank our absolutely incredible patrons over on patreon who allow for me to continue to do regular videos like this every single day you guys are incredible charges have now been pressed and as such a trial is in order this is how justice is done in fontaine ban those motherfucker. yeah I, I totally agree hoyo won't just ban them but also sue the Wait, did they actually, did they note legal action up there? I just, did I just overlook that? Banned accounts using the plugins and will take legal action against developers, user. Hold on, oh, oh my God, wait. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna take him to court. No way, they're, oh, oh my God, they were kidding. They are absolutely livid. They are banning players and also going to potentially take the developers of the plugins and the players themselves to court. Oh my, that is mind boggling. Oh my God. That, oh, that is, that is incredibly satisfying to read. Honestly, glad it was addressed so quickly. The memes were funny, but glad to see they really have taken action quickly. Glad to see they're banning people that do this, even legal action. Woo. I was legitimately hoping that Hoyo would really take legal action, especially since it originated on the Chinese side. Which I assumed where Hoyo would have wider legal means. They put some leakers behind bars in the past. Anyways, glad it's also brought up in the PSA. Dude, that is, that is actually crazy. Yes, they responded to this. They remedied the situation pretty quickly, I think in like a day or two. But they're taking them to court. They're banning everyone and then taking, potentially taking them to court. This right here, like they, they do not do things half-assed at Hoyo. Not at all. Now, <laughs> if Genshin Impact isn't a, a game that you're interested in, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more interest to you.